Hey, BIS 302, welcome to Summer Session A 2019. Um, I'm Michael Fair. I'll be your host. Uh, I apologize for the uh, casual nature of this video, but I am uh, kind of a digital nomad and I'm on the road right now. Um, so I thought I'd get this, uh, this video done. Right now, here where I am, it's Wednesday. Uh, I know I have or five more days till class starts, but I gotta get this done because I'll be uh, driving most of the days. Um, I am uh, up here in Sedona, Arizona. Can I turn this around? With my son, there he is, who's uh, in uh, history major at Barrett. We are on the road. Okay, so yeah, I am Arizona State, right? All right, All right so some of you have had me face-to-face. -face. Some of you have had me online for 301. I greatly appreciate you subjecting yourself to another class with me. Um, okay, so this is going to be a challenge. Let me, so this is going to be a challenge, okay? Um, because it's my first endeavor in Canvas. Maybe it is for some of you and for others, you've done it a couple of times already. Um, but I am going to, um, emphasize on video more than I have before. I want you to know that you can email me and I encourage you to email if you see something wrong, something questionable, something weird on Canvas, please let me know, okay? I, my colleagues and I, we've the, done the best we can. I've been working really closely with a couple of colleagues as we transition here and um, it, it's gonna be challenging. Unfortunately, you're my guinea pigs, but unfortunately, when that happens, I tend to err on the side of understanding that, um, you know, I'm giving you a little unusual, uh, I'm in unusual circumstances. Okay, so um, it may not be pretty online, but I'm going to do videos. If you've, if you've been in my online classes before, you know I've done videos before. They're going to run, they usually run about 10, 12 minutes, but they may run 20 now, uh, and I may do more than one per module. I just feel it's a good way to communicate with you my expectations and what you can do um, to succeed in this course. So, uh, as you know, uh, some of you know, some of you don't know, I use uh, a term I call the Easter eggs um, to prove to you, you can prove then that you watch these videos and then I give you the points, uh, five points per video to um, uh, add to your score. Now, like I said, I might do two or three videos in a week. And that's a lot, maybe two or something. I haven't decided about giving five points for each one yet, but I might. Uh, either way, they're going to be very beneficial, in my opinion, because it's going to really keep us on the same page, okay? Um, so Easter eggs are important. I usually do about two or three a video when I remember, and then you email them to me, and then I give you uh, five points for the view, okay? So uh, to start us off, then let's do... Easter egg number one is Red Rocks, right? Okay, so you know those of you Arizona, the Red Rocks of Sedona. Um, and uh, so let's put Red Rocks as our first Easter egg. And what you'll do is make a list of whatever I said and then email them to me after you've watched the video. And then I know you watched it, right? Because it can be totally random, okay, verbiage. Now, all right, so this course is extremely fast moving. I mean, I cannot overstate how fast moving it is. This course is designed to be taught over 15 weeks. That's 105 days, right? Yeah. Okay. Instead, we're going to do it in five weeks and three days. We're going to do it in 38 days. So 105-day class in 38 days. I mean, even when it's a seven-and-a-half-week version, you've still got um, uh, 52, 53 days. Here we got 38. It's going to be very difficult. Okay. Only, I mean, difficult in terms of you got to spend the time too, okay? Just, I hope this isn't too windy. I'll have to redo the whole thing. Um, typically, you're going to spend, um, you know, nine hours a week, eight, 12 hours a week on a class, on a three credit university course. If you multiply that and divide it, you know, because of the compressed nature of it, I'm talking about doing about three hours a day. It's a lot, I know. But it is three credits of a 300 level course that you got to have. So, um, the videos are very important then to stay in the same page, okay? Fast moving. Um, okay. 
Uh, let me see what's going on here. Okay, due dates. All right. If you look at the syllabus that I have in Canvas, all right, you're going to see that I actually, it's seven modules, and I actually, you know, gave you a good breakdown of the days because I varied the days. It could be five day a module, four day module, seven day module, six day module. I know that's a pain, but we don't have seven weeks for seven modules, okay? We don't have really any number that will even things out. Also, because the workload is different, okay? There are, I guess, seven day, you know, module, I have one of those because there's a lot to do in that. There's a lot of reading to do there, okay? Whereas the other, you know, the first module is short, pretty simple. Last module is short, pretty simple. Okay, now, the book, all right? This is the new one, Practical Research, uh, 12th edition, right? Yeah, 12th edition. You need it. And guess what? It's really, it's kind of dry. I've read the other one. I'm going to read this one along with you. I adjusted it, the syllabus accordingly. There's a lot of reading in some uh, uh, modules. You can do it. Read it. This course, the objective of this course is to uh, introduce you to research. Practical research, basic research. This is not grad school research, not post-grad research. Um, it's not funded research. Just to give you an idea. Why? Well, you know, I mean, I, people have asked me, and I've gotten feedback, oh, this uh, class sucked. What am I ever going to do research in my job, my life? You know what? I haven't done algebra since 1975. <laughs> so uh, there are all those kind of classes that we have. But guess what? With practical research and a knowledge of different research methods and what to look for, you're going to be a better consumer of knowledge. You're going to be that much smarter, okay? You're going to understand what to look for in terms of the knowledge that's out there. Because let's face it, um, in my day, back in the day of my peers, we'd go to the library and go to card catalog, get books and stack them on a table, check them out, go through them and memorize, memorize, memorize as much as you can, okay? You don't have to do that nowadays. You just have to know where to find the knowledge. It's on there. It's on, it's on the PC. It's on the tablets and laptops, on your phones, in the palm of your hand, all the knowledge you could ever want. The problem is, some of it's good, some of it's just BS, right? Just because there's a picture of a kitty next to it or Abraham Lincoln doesn't make it, right? Doesn't make it official. So you've got to be a better consumer of knowledge. You've got to know how to find knowledge. In, in the world that you're going to be dealing with, uh, the knowledge is, is going to be there. Information is going to be there. Knowledge is not going to be there or discerning that, that information. So that's what research helps you to do, is to understand the parameters, the correlations, the different methods, okay? So that's what we're going to try to go ahead with this. Again, I'm going to help you as much as I can in this course to succeed in it, but you're going to have to do me the favor of getting back to me, too. Don't wait for a specific lecture, video, paper, whatever. Contact me. Email me, okay? Uh, when this class starts, I should, God willing, I should be in Mil the Milwaukee area, settling in. Uh, I just want to get away from the Phoenix heat. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, virtual open door policy. We can set up phone calls. All right. There's all kinds of ways to communicate. I, I want to say this. I only have 29 students. There could be 30 unless they increase it next week uh, right now, which is a good uh, class that I can really work with because the session B is um, I've got like 70. So I hope that this works out because session B is going to be intense and I'm not going to be able to spend individual time with them as I can with you, all right? So let's work on that, all right? There's a lot of reading, like I said, okay? And I'm going to read it just like you. Let's score all the work, et cetera, to the videos, okay? All right? Um, you know, note in the syllabus, like I said, the days I allotted for the modules, okay? You're going to have some worksheets to do. The, the objective of this class is you're going to be working on a research project through this class. Now, I'm no fool. University-level research... Um, is, 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 a, is, a, is a healthy task, okay? But you're going to be, what you're up against is, A, you may never have done university-level research before. You may have done a research paper in high school or something else, let's say on the Titanic, where you went and you gathered all this information about the Titanic, you put it together and you turned it in, and all you really did was you, you know, kind of compiled information about the Titanic, discovered nothing new. Essentially, research is discovery. It can be something incremental, all right? Uh, it's a, it's, you know, you're adding, however incrementally, to the body of knowledge in your field or fields, okay? So it's going to be a teaspoon in the ocean of knowledge in your field, but it's a little more, a little something added, okay? We're going to work on that, all right? Um, 
I'm going to go through the material a lot uh, individually. I'm going to go through my exp- expectations, my recommendations. I'm going to, you know, I'm probably going to ask to talk to all of you actually by a phone call if possible. Um, and uh, we will get through it that way together. Um, I'm looking at other things here, my notes. Okay. All right. So for module one in, uh, you know, I got the welcome page set up again. This is all new to me. I don't know what you guys usually see. If anybody wants to give me any advice, I'm willing to listen to it too. Okay. So you're going to go through and you need to do the, um, in what they call module zero, uh, you go and you look at the, uh, there's a academic integrity agreement. Read it, check it off so that you can keep moving on. Also in module zero, there's a syllabus quiz. I put that together. It's worth 10 points. It lets me know that you know what's going on in terms of due dates and submission and things. I do reserve the right to modify due dates. If When I do that, it will be in your favor, okay? I know when students are getting crunched at things, all right? So I try to be you know, helpful with that. I will not be helpful, though, with the way to upload work. It should be all done on Word, okay? Not PDF, not pages, Word, all right? Times New Roman 12-point font, double line spacing, use appropriate grammar and uh, citations and spelling, you know, the drill. This is university, right? All right, so you want to get into module one then. And for that, there is an overview, my video, learning materials, introduce yourself, and worksheet one. So we're about we're about at 12 minutes here, and I'm going to see if this even the sound came out okay. And if it is, what I'll probably do, I need to do a second. Let's do another um, Easter egg, okay? And let's call it um, integration. Those of you that have taken me before, and of course anybody that's taken BIS 301, knows that integration is the key component to interdisciplinary studies. So integration is our second Easter egg, and I'm not going to say the first one because you should have viewed it, right? All right, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to make this a two-parter. This is part one. I'll uh, do part two probably Monday, Sunday afternoon or Monday, actually, and post it. And then I'm going to ask you to send me the Easter eggs for both of those to get your points, okay? I, I, I hope that works out. And again, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Email mfair at asu.edu. You'll see it online. And um, I want you all to uh, have a safe, fun weekend and get ready to roll next week. Okay? That one. Peace. Works up. See ya.